the next thing I want to show you is the fade envelope. And this is again extremely powerful for our acoustic wind instruments. So I'm actually going to grab this one right here. Okay. So here we go. I'm in the waveform for the flute. And here's the flute's last note. Okay. So let's say though that for whatever reason, if you were, you needed the, the flute to fade out sooner, if you just need to do, or maybe the fade wasn't great, maybe they faded too slowly or too fast, we can rebuild that fade, which is really fun. So again, I've selected the last note. And again, the more you zoom in, the more detail you can see. So you can make that selection better. Her last note is actually right here. Okay. I'm going to go into effects. Um, amplitude and compression. And it's right there, the fade envelope process. I, this is such an amazing tool, especially for any wind instrument. I guess strings too, they do a fade as well, but especially the wind instruments. So here is our fade envelope and this shows the points of a fade. So we're gonna hit play. We're gonna hit play here. Okay. Here's all these little diamonds, and these actually allow us to edit that fade process. We can move these around to change that. And actually, I really like working with the bell curve because that's typically what a wind player wants is a nice bell curve fade. So let's listen. I'm going to turn it off. So that's without the envelope. That's with the envelope. There's the original. Okay, that can be super, super powerful in helping bring ragged um, endings of notes together across multiple instruments. It's just working that fade process to help that fade happen without just clipping it and ending it. We don't want to do clips. We want to keep those acoustic sounds in. If we just clip things off, then things start to sound very, very synthesized. And we're working with acoustic instruments. So we want to keep in those natural processes, but sometimes we need to kind of zhuzh them a little bit so that they match and work together well.